So here you can see that I already have a screen recording footage in my timeline. And there's also a voice narration attached with it. So if I were to go over here and play it out, Hello everyone, and this is the tutorial for Microsoft Word. And you can see that this is the intro. So that's what has been recorded over here. So now what I can do is I can add in a voiceover on top of it. What I can do is I can mute out everything over here and then add in another narration as well. So instead of saying hello everyone, let's say I want to say something like welcome to the tutorial series everyone. So let, let's just hear this out. Hello everyone, and this is the tutorial for Microsoft Word. And you can see that this is the interface of Microsoft Word. And okay, so I'm just going to go around onto the audio queue right here, and I want to uh, replace out the welcome part. Hello everyone, and this is the tutorial for Microsoft Word. Okay, so this is the spot. So what I need to do here is right click and edit the audio onto this section. I'm going to make a selection and mute this out right here. So now what happens is that that portion has been muted out. So if I were to play this around, there is no sound on the beginning. And you can see that this is the interface. Okay, so now I'm going to record it. I'm going to record a voiceover narration. So for that, I need to go over here onto the voice narration option and then select out the microphone which I want to record with. In my case, I'm just going to select in line in, which is the recorder of my choice. You can also choose out the volume. That is, you can bring the volume up or down and it'll affect the volume of recording as well. And here it says mute the timeline during recording so that you don't, you're not distracted out while it plays the video. So as you uh, press start voice recording, it actually plays out the video for reference as well. So I'm just going to start voice recording and then I'm going to start saying uh, welcome to the Microsoft Word tutorial series. Welcome to the Microsoft Word tutorial series. So as I stop it, it asks me where I want to save the audio file in M4A format. I'm just going to hit save and you can see that it comes as a separate layer just like that. I'm just going to bring this down and what I can do is I can align it in with the audio right here, just like this. So you can see that this is the audio waveform. Let me just cut out on the side and what I'm going to do is place it just like this. And now let's hear how it sounds. Welcome to the Microsoft Word tutorial series. And you can see that this is the interface of Microsoft Word and over here on the top. And that is how you can replace out audio. You can also like, uh, for example, bring all the audio down, replace the audio completely according to what you want to say as well. It completely depends upon you. So let's say, for example, there are graphics or something you want to have audio right here, and then you can do that as well. So I'm just going to say, Hello and welcome to this series on Camtasia, where we're going to learn about the basics uh, till the advanced techniques of what we can do in Camtasia. And now what happens is that it asks you for the sound again and just going to save that out. And you can see that the audio layer is here. So I can go around and let's say, for example, add in some annotations right here to make it much more interesting. Or I'm just going to go around into library and use the Camtasia 2020 library right here. Go into intros and let's say maybe, for example, I'm just going to bring in uh, something like the state title right here. Let's see how that looks like. Hello and welcome to this series on Camtasia. And you can see that along with uh, the text animation and everything, it just pops up just like that. I'm just going to choose the tutor tube the theme right here. And over here, you can see that I can work around with it. So I can work around with uh, the text right here and then edit it out. So Camtasia, just like this. Hello and welcome to this series on Camtasia. And that is how you can replace it out. Of course, I didn't uh, go around and then edit this out. Let, let me just correct that. And that is how you can use voiceovers uh, on to your existing projects inside of Camtasia. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.